Give us like some sort of cinematic intro for this. Uh, yeah, I could try. I just like try. any type yeah, of like how, from the city. Uh, how long? You know, I know how you have some. This, just like um, a little small one. No, no, no. How long is this coming out? When is it coming out? Or can we decide? Um, yeah, pretty much whenever. Oh uh, yeah, then I, I can put something I, together I for this. Tr- yeah, yeah, hell yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. So I was like, I was like. going on people we're back it's another episode of tough times two i'm here with fellow comedian we got bavik patel yo what's good y'all how we doing thanks for having me ryan dude i'm happy to have you man and um honestly hey, did you pour some oh uh, i didn't pour in th- anything in there for you man uh, uh, cool. yeah, yeah, like i'm such poison. a bad guest no nah, i mean pour my own poison you yeah know? yeah yeah the old people say that all the time it's like uh <laughs> Just because I'm colored, I don't want to be pouring your drinks. <laughs> 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 but um, anyway, so I met Bavik uh, uh, probably about, I don't know, maybe three, four years ago. Yeah, man, just in the depths of Where the was Where uh, was that one mic power? Ve- at Vesper Lounge. <laughs> what was it called? The pa- power? Power mic by Preach. The power mic by Preach. Preach. Yeah, Preach was the host. And um, then I would occasionally bump into Bavik at the most random times walking through the city of Philadelphia. It was yeah. strange. You'd, Pre-COVID, you know, you'd just see him walking around. You'd be like, yo, Bavik. And it'd just be like, you know, a little comic interaction right mm-hmm. in the street. It's like seeing another famous comic, and but you're not famous. and We're, we're famous in our minds. In our own minds. Yo, yeah, Ryan, real talk, though. I'm not going to lie. The first, like, four times I met you, I had no idea what you actually look like because we were like, <laughs> it was like in the winter time. So people were like bundled up. You know, I wear shades. That's why we're wearing shades here. So like even when we saw each other like at like uh, sunset time, we were still like, I, I couldn't really get what you looked at. And then I saw you on a stage one time during bright lights. And I was like, now I got him. <laughs> this is what, he, he almost looks like me, but a white version, <laughs> to be honest. Honestly, yeah, we got the same type of face uh yeah we got bowling head ball shape. head yeah. we're about the same height got shaved heads yeah yeah so i was like he's the white guy <laughs> white bob well it's funny you mention that because it's like i oftentimes tell Mizba if he was to ever like you know die in some <laughs> sort of unfortunate circumstance you would be like number one to just like fill yeah. in for him on tough times one <laughs> sorry Mizba. <laughs> you know don't worry he'll never watch this Aww. so yeah I'm going to share this part to him. <laughs> I'm going to crop I'll it. cut it share. in the uh, promo. So something I've always wanted to ask you. Yeah, right? It's a rumor I've heard for, about oh, you no. from oh, the no. jump. I'm when so I scared. first got into the comedy scene in Philly. Oh, no. I've heard rumors that the whole, like, I know you own a motorcycle. Uh-huh. But I've heard the rumor you, you, oh, <laughs> you bought the motorcycle, learned the motorcycle, uh-huh. all for a sketch. Uh-huh. Is this true? Okay, so, it's, yeah, on on the kind of, yeah, it's kind of true. Well, I really like bought you were like, it. I'm committing to a motorcycle because I yeah. have a sketch idea. It's well, like, yeah, it's just like a really good sketch idea. It wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't for a sketch. It was more like I bought this drone and I want to do all this content. The drone, by the way. I've seen some of his drone <laughs> content, and it's sick. Thank it's you. It's very cool. Like, Thank I, you. I saw the one where you were riding on the motorcycle. Exactly. Oh, dude, I don't exactly. even know I did it all. I did it I all. It work, man. You, you know the they say don't text you? and drive? I was droning and driving a motorcycle, That's guys. insane, man. Without Check a helmet. I am t- so like sorry, Mom. Of, like, <laughs> <laughs> he's just out here just pumping his own stunts <laughs> But I really bought it because, like, I want to make cinematic intros and outros so all the content I do. And then I was like... Oh, what's the sickest you thing? Give us like some sort of cinematic intro for this. Uh, yeah, I could try. I just could like try. any type yeah, of like how, from the city. Uh, how long? You know, I know how you have some. This, just um, like a little small one. No, no, no. How long is this coming out? When is it coming out? 
Or can we decide? Um, yeah, pretty much whatever. Oh, right, yeah, then I, I can put I, something together I for this. Sh- yeah, yeah, hell yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh, that's, yeah. What's so I was like, was shot out there. I was like, oh, drone following a car is cool. But then I was like, what's cooler is drone following a motorcycle. That's cool. And yeah. then I was and like. It turns out it is very <laughs> cool, man. I saw that and I was like, wow, that's cool. Yeah, dude. So I basically bought it like as a prop for life. But like I always ri- liked riding a bicycle when I was a child. Dude, motorcycles are badass. Yeah. And it's like now it allows us to have another element of sketch writing, too. Yeah. It's like, like me, I told you I had that sketch idea involving a Lamborghini. Uh huh. I don't know anyone with a Lamborghini, but if I was to write something with a motorcycle, Motor- yep. I know somebody who knows how to ride a motorcycle and, mm-hmm. and, and multitask. Yeah, on and oh. while he's driving. <laughs> but yeah, the thing is, I also bought it because you know, like, do you drive a motorcycle? Do you ride a motorcycle? How's that work? You know? Oh, you know, drive. Did they or say ride. drive the motorcycle? I'm gonna go drive well, the motorcycle, or you, say, I'm gonna go ride the motorcycle. They say, yeah, I'm gonna like go on a, bike, a ride. You know? They say I'm gonna go ride on a ride. Bike, yeah, but I guess you're not. You don't pedal a motorcycle. Nah, nah. They say go on a ride. I'm going to go on a ride. Yeah, yeah, so. That's a good way to say it. Yeah. yeah. I usually go, I'm going to go room, room. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Yeah, but now, the motorcycle is mainly for my therapy as well. Like, I don't want to pay to tell someone about my problems. I could just go on a ride. Ha- they call it throttle therapy. Like, it's legit. It's out there. It's sick. I, I love the. Uh, the guys on YouTube mm-hmm. from the local area in Philly that like get on the motorcycle and then just like run from the cops. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, I watched this one guy, man. He was like hiding on Divine Expressway mm-hmm. from the police. They had a chopper on yeah. him and he was just hiding. I was like, man, this is happening in Philly. Dude, he's like, watching a lot of GTA. He's playing a lot yeah, of GTA. Yeah. Man, you know, one of my uh, least favorite times with Bavik was when we all went to New York. Uh oh. And uh, Bavik <laughs> had this idea that we should walk <laughs> to Mike's, and it was like 30 blocks, oh, man. It no. was like, how many blocks was it? It was a long time. I don't right? know. We man. were walking I'm, for a long time. I'm a it was big probably, like, advocate. Two hours of walking. Yeah. I'm we a- walked through the whole entire, <laughs> whatever park in New York. I mean, we walked through that entire length of the park. It was from Broadway Comedy Club up and, to. And like, the uh, thing the was, it was like hot. But it wasn't too hot. Yeah. But then when she started walking with like a ten pound book bag, yeah, it became least, warm. It became it, it warm. got warm. And then I was sweating. And he became sweaty. Man, it was an experience for sure. But I'm a big advocate of fitness, y'all. <laughs> and I know some of my comic friends do not commit to fitness. I even offered fitness. to pay for like the Uber too, because I know like I just know that Ms. was pretty cheap individual. So I was thinking, you know, like maybe <laughs> just like. And honestly, I was stereotyping at this point because I was just mm-hmm. like, you know, Mizba's cheap. Maybe Bavik is also cheap. Uh-huh. So I was just like. <laughs> because I am cheap. That's why and, we and walked. Yeah, you know, yeah, and that's yeah. why we ended up walking. And honestly, we did save like 20 bucks or whatever. Yeah, but I mean, and we like, got to chit chat. Yeah. And I mean, I was sweating a lot by the time mm-hmm. I got to the stage. We and, saw some sights. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was a wild experience yeah. for sure. I mean, like it was cool to do. Will I do it again? Probably not. But <laughs> Unless he's with me. He like like you guys, when you guys are like. I'm going to, we're going to walk there. That's when I'm like, I'll be right back. I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'm going to dip through the building and come out like another exit and just yeah. end up on an Uber and be like, yeah, guys, I don't know what happened. I'm here though. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you here. No, 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 no. You got to walk with us. Oh, man, the walk, sometimes it's all about the journey. The journey. That's, 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 that's what this whole game is. This is why we're doing all this, right? It's the journey. I did find a Michael Kors. Do you remember this? I found a Michael Kors <laughs> sunglasses case. Oh. While we were walking through the park, it was on the ground, and people say I stole it <laughs> in the comments uh-huh. in my thirty-second flip video for it. But I mean, like, I didn't steal it. You no, know? no. I, I just found it. It Guys. was laying on the ground, and it was going to be trash, honestly. So mm-hmm. I removed trash from Central Park and flipped it for twenty bills. That's a genius. So I actually made twenty dollars walking through the park. Yeah, I don't know if you knew that. Yeah, no, that's yeah. hot, dude. But then I mean, I guess I like, spent a little on the ice cream. But I mean, hey, we're not factoring all that in. I guess. Ryan can sell anything. I, yeah, I, so I've been often told you have to think like a crackhead when you're selling because mm-hmm. uh, everything's for sale. How much could you sell me for? It's tough to say, you know, depends on where we're at. Let's say like you're selling me right now. Right now? Uh huh. To whoever. Whomever. It would obviously be for labor, I would assume. I don't know. Anything. <laughs> he said, I don't know. Anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it'd probably be some sort of labor. I'd get you like a painting job or something. Okay. There, there was one time where. No, um, I'm talking about full sell, like price tag, like, oh, uh, like Ryan, I want to have that man. 
And how much do I need to pay you to completely have ownership mm. of that dude? I don't know. I'd have to talk to you to, to negotiate oh, that. Oh, no, I mean, no. no I don't I'm, really, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving tra- it fully up to you. I, I've actually, I stay out of the human trafficking <laughs> usually. <laughs> That's but, what uh, I'm basically asking. Yeah, I, I, I've been trying to avoid human trafficking. <laughs> it's, how it's much would you human traffic wrong, mean for? Honestly, That's what yeah. I'm asking. Just, I would like to know. Just give me something. I mean, it would definitely be five figures at least. Five. That's know? nice. It depends on the term, length. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know. I would. I would even know. I don't know anything about that type of market. Mm-hmm. I would have to study it, which would also probably flag my computer to mm-hmm. the FBI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like to which say would, like forty dollars. It's also like you know, if it is flagged by the FBI, do you think like that's <laughs> a negative, or is it just more subscribers on your account on YouTube? Subscribers. Right. Anything that's controversial that you Does do from now on. Subscribers, like yeah. say if the FBI gets on you, you know, mm-hmm. getting the news. Like five to ten more. Subscribers, yeah, yeah. No, you know, no. At least CIA seventy-five, eighty. I don't know. Maybe a couple hundred. I could be wrong. Mm. They just added to a, a list of watch accounts. You know, the FBI is watching. They're not watching you, dude. Are you, yeah. Not yet. No. Not yet. Yeah, I haven't said anything too awesome. You will or, though. Or too shady, I guess. You know what I saw on the way here? What did you see? Driving over here, it was like one. And I literally was seeing a kid get arrested at a Plymouth meeting mall. And I was like, dude, it's literally the, like early afternoon on a Thursday. What are you doing? Yeah. You know, like, why are you getting arrested? <laughs> you know what I mean? Dude, I oftentimes wonder, like, where are, the, are how are these kids not in school right now? Oh, Corona. Is that what it is? Because like, <laughs> I go to like... Maybe that's why we need to open the school. At various like restaurants on lunch, and it's like there's like a teenager working the counter, and yeah. you're like, they should be in school right now. Dude, the thing is, our education system is so screwed up. Oh yeah, yeah. I I'm mean, not familiar with. It. I mean, because like I, I mean, yeah, I guess it is. I felt like I wasn't. I mean, okay. Did you not go up. to school here? Oh uh, no, yeah, I went to school here. <laughs> I was definitely certainly not challenged enough growing uh-huh. up. I felt. Not let's not 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 even talk about the challenging. Like, uh, did your teachers? engage with you at all you probably had one or two over like the 80 that you had throughout grade school right yeah you know what i mean like you have one or two that you can remember but like where is that rest like that wasted uh talent that didn't engage with you you could have been an astronaut ryan yeah but here you are not an astronaut because your teachers didn't care it is a big concern isn't it yeah i don't know man I used to teach karate, and I loved it. I used to take those personality tests back in the day and try to get astronaut. <laughs> you know, you like you try to become an astronaut, and you're like, I am one, come on. Mm-mm. And then like it would kick it back and be like, you're going to be a chef. And it's like, dude, what? Chef, man. Do you like food? I do. Yeah. I'm not a big advocate of food too much. Eating just rubble for <laughs> the first 20 years of my life. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Huh. You know what I mean? Yeah. So what, you were just eating, like, like just trash foods? No, no, no. I was eating great food. My, it was, like, always Indian food. But, like, you know, when you grow up... Do you like chocolate a lot? Yeah. Most Indians I know really we all love, love chocolate. chocolate yeah. Man. I mean, if you don't like chocolate, you're the devil. Yeah. I mean, I'm just not much of a chocolate guy. I don't know. <sighs> all right, guys. Um, I'm going to have to leave. I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> Like, I always get, like, like vanilla-style cake or something. Vanilla? It's just like, I don't know, the chocolate's just sometimes too much for me. It okay. It creates a lot of mucus in my mouth. I will say this. As someone who's been in the the DQ game for 15 years, there's a time and place for vanilla, and there's a time and place for chocolate. Okay? I agree. And I agree. I do like when they're mixed. Like a mixed, little combo, but there's a time and place together. for when they're mixed. There is. You know what I mean? There is. Like, vanilla... And strawberry always tastes better. A little Neapolitan. Uh, is that what it's called? It's vanilla, strawberry, and chocolate. Oh, uh, okay. No, no. So that's like, hard ch- oh, that's like hard ice cream in the fucking tubs, right? Gallons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, I'm not That's the only me. time you see it, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Nah. But like vanilla and strawberry will always go together, but like vanilla and chocolate is a uh, less people like, but it's still good. You know what I mean? Yeah. But vanilla, and I'm only talking to ice cream, guys. Let's... What about malt shakes? Have you had a malt shake? I love shake? malt Dude, shakes. I enjoy a malt shake. I haven't had yeah. one in years, and I had one the other day, and I was like, wow. If you don't know what malt is, that's what's in the little Whopper candies. That powder in that Whopper candy, yeah. that's what it's malt like is. It's rounded up, and they yeah. throw it on there. Yeah, you just put it into a shake, and you, know, you got it. Dude, it's good stuff. Uh, 
They do they do a really good job with that. I don't know where anymore, but have you ever heard of cocoa fudge? It's no. the cocaine of liquid chocolate at Dairy really? Queen. I swear to cocoa God. Cocoa fudge, they call it? Cocoa fudge. They call it sometimes. They, they're they marketing it now as midnight how, fudge. How do, how do they, uh, like, what do you, you get it in a cup, I guess? So, really, it has never really been, like, uh, publicized on the menu too much up, no. up until recently. It really? was Up until recently, I think it was just, like, an ingredient. Not a prominent menu item, huh? No, it's, a, like, a secret menu item. It's so good that they didn't want to just be like, ah, oh, here it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. They, they throw it in shit, but, like, uh, they don't want it, like, out there. But, like, um, it's so good. You, know, you can just, like, get it on a Sunday, just on vanilla ice cream. You can throw it in a blizzard. You can throw it in a milkshake. It's just a chocolate, so you can just... It's so good though. I've never heard. I n- I never had anything like it. Wow. Never. <sighs> Cocoa fudge. <laughs> Just thinking about Cocoa it. Cocoa fudge dude. and like so. How do you typically eat it? So I you drizzle I, it on. You dr- drill a little hole in the middle of your blizzard. Nah, nah. That, that's the that's the new royal blizzard. That's what they're doing. Is that, that's what the royal blizzard's called. Yeah. I haven't yeah. been to Dairy Queen in a little while. Even though there is one down the street. <laughs> yeah, dude. There's one right down the street. I do like Dairy Queen. My mom used to work at one when yeah. she was a kid. She actually got fired from it. Why? Uh, she um. Set, it was one of the classic moments in history where you like set the clocks forward uh, and then you tell your boss like you w- he was sleeping in the back. They woke him up. They were like, "Hey man, it's time to go home." Uh, and then he got in his car and saw the time in his car. Oh. It was like twenty minutes after they had gotten there at the mm-hmm. start of the day. And then like he called my uh, my grandfather, I guess, and told him. And then my <laughs> my mom got beat. Wow! Wow, dude, that's that's actually pretty funny. It is. Yeah. It is. It's a really fun. <laughs> like, man, that's a classic. Like, wow, she you got fired from that. Yeah. yeah. They pulled a fast one. They got away. Probably had a great day. And mm-hmm. then, like, they got home and it was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but Derek. I can't imagine that she thought she was going to get away with that for too long. Nah. Like, nah. Back then, I guess it seemed like a great idea. Nah. <laughs> I mean, it is still a great idea. If it you, is. If you got away with that, yeah. Like, you know? Yeah. Yeah, they probably didn't even have phones. No. no. Yeah, you're, they probably didn't. No so one's probably just no. like, bet we can go home and, like... <laughs> <laughs> and then, like... Maybe, just maybe, nobody will find out. Your boss is, like, calling, like... Her, her boss is, like, calling, like, the landline. He no goes home to watch the 6 o'clock news <laughs> and it's still 10 a.m. You know? It's just, like, <laughs> it's not going to be a thing for him. Yo, that's so good. That's when he finds out. Yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, you know what also happened to me uh, today? What's that? Like, uh, you know how they say, like, no, people, like, do you drink? Not as much as I used Did to. Did you? But back I mean, in the day in college and all that? Of like course, in college, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And But towards the end of college, it was just more so I was playing a lot of poker. Right. So, like, you know, you ever hear the story where someone's like, oh, the next morning I'm just so hungover and I just want some water and I grab this water bottle and it's vodka, right? Oh, man, yeah, classic story. Yeah, so what's worse than that is grabbing a water bottle and it being, like, 12 day old water okay mm-hmm. and then you stagnant <laughs> <laughs> nice stagnant cup of water Ugh. and then you drink it and then you're like Ugh. and then you know within like 45 minutes now you have diarrhea mm. so <laughs> it's a good way to get out of work though you know it's like a when, sure fire like, yeah but hey, when you work for a home today. they're like yeah just go take very a shit true. bro <laughs> yeah very true i guess <laughs> You can't really get out of it. No, nah, dude. Work. See, everyone's like, oh, working from home is so cool, but now you can't get out of things. Of course. Yeah. Like, yeah. Going into the office, you could definitely get out of it by being like, hey, I can't make it in. Remember today. when you could get out of work by breaking a bone? Now you can't. Yeah, now, no, not really. They're like, hey, take Honestly, that lap. <laughs> that's like a detrimental thing I think about sometimes. I'm like, yo, I cannot physically break either of my hands at this stage in life because I cannot be able to do my full-time job. <laughs> yeah. And, like, that would be a problem. So, like... Would it? I, I would think so, right? Because then you just can't type on a keyboard. Dude. I would like for things to move to voice. They they already do have a lot of voice to type. Yeah, I think you need to find the like, right app for you. I, I think so. I yeah. think I just need to do it right. I would like more of that because, like, it just saved my hand. Uh-huh. I have carpal tunnel bad in both yeah. hands. I mean, I'm sure, like, buying microphones like this don't help, but... No. 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 But uh, various other things don't help either, but... If anyone ever sees this podcast and knows a great app for Ryan to do voice to text, let us I, know. I do voice to text for all my listings now when yeah. I'm posting things to sell. But you're talking about like writing like a script, right? And you just want to talk. Typing an email the, back. I just want to be yeah. able to be like, 
type this email mm-hmm, back to this mm-hmm. guy, and then like it sends. There, I want it to be like all voices. Yeah, like, I sit there at work, and it's just me talking all day. I'm pretty sure there is like a software that does that, but you have to pay for it, obviously. You of know what I mean? Uh, I forget what it is, but I'm almost like <clears throat> bought it, but then I was like. I don't want to just be in my house, just be like, oh. And I, like, at first, it's like kind of cool, but then, you yeah, know, like some yeah. days you don't like want to speak. You know what I mean? No, I've been there, but yeah, dude. So what else you been up to, huh? You, I, I know you do a <sighs> bunch of shows. Okay, you're so, over at Cricket Comedy all the time. So Cricket Comedy. What's the deal with that guy, huh? Yeah. I mean, like, what? Eddie Gallagher runs that. Eddie Gallagher runs. I know I've that. sent him a few tapes, and he just never um, gets back to me via email. Me but. personally, uh, we just ran into each other like uh, one time, or he, maybe he, uh, oh, he had posted maybe in the Philly comedy group. Mm-hmm. If you want to be on a show, send me a tape. Yeah. And I did, and I I d- I d- he I hit me up. Similar, yeah. But the thing about me is, uh. He will ask you to do 20 minutes. And as someone who's not ready to do 20 minutes, I go do 20 minutes, and it's not great. And then, you know, he doesn't ask me back, obviously, until, uh, like, a year later. And he'll say one thing. I've seen people come at Eddie for not uh, putting together diverse lineups. Uh, If you go through the man's posters... He has everything on there. No, yeah, yeah. I, I've seen. He, so, he gives a lot uh, of people chances. Yeah, yeah it's so pretty I, I, It's not like the same lineup every right. time, you know. But we did this show at this Indian restaurant, so I'm preparing heavily for like two weeks, getting all these Indian jokes. Mm-hmm. And I get there and I see the audience start filling up. Not one Indian person. Oh, wow. The main attraction of this crowd is five middle-aged white ladies, and they're just wasted. Oh wow! Waste. They got hammered at this place. They got they arrived hammered. Love that. <laughs> That's a good time. Then they were talking through everyone's set. So you know, like I, a lot of my set was just you know. Uh, I saw. I think I might have saw a clip. Of yeah, this. there was just yeah. a little bit of clip. A you know, action. little heckler action. You know, I've been getting a little bit down. of. Getting a little bit of hecklers recently. I don't know why because I think it's just because I have well, a baby you face. You can check a lot of this stuff out too on what. Oh yeah, good times B. That's my Instagram. Uh. You know, then we have merch at Good Times B Clo. Yeah, and then what do you also got? Like a YouTube channel? We got a YouTube channel, Good Times B. He's got a TikTok. A TikTok, I mean, Good Times Bob. Yeah. Jewel Boy. That's then, out there. What's upcoming too? You got a lot of upcoming. Yeah, cool we got stuff. the and real I, I even put a studio <laughs> together over there. Yeah, dude. So we're actually uh dropping a podcast. It's called the Bobcast. And it's, Excited. I can't wait to be a guest. Yeah, dude. Yeah, we have uh, Ryan and Mizba coming on. It's going to be fucking sick. But, like, the thing is, the podcast is just another podcast, guys. Don't get too hype. It's just for me to show you guys who I am. So then you guys come out to live comedy. That's all it is. That's what it's all about now, dude. <laughs> that's, all, that's all it that's is. That's why we're all doing it. Uh, I'm just doing a podcast to bring you out the live comedy. But, you know, we'll have comedians on. But I have also some friends in life that are doing some real cool things that are outside entertainment, which I, I would like to showcase because... I love that. And yeah. I've been trying to get some of those types of people yeah. on my show, but it's just like, again, it's just so hard with scheduling. Scheduling, scheduling everybody's I mean, busy. every now and then, but I mean, like, it is what it is. And, what, and everyone it's also to it's, wants... And it's a tough time. It's a tough time. And <laughs> also, everyone always is looking for, like, what do I get out of this? Yeah, you know there's I mean? a lot of that going on, too. So all I can offer those people is just a T-shirt. That's all I can offer. A T-shirt. Me? I usually try to get like order like a pizza or something. Yeah. But, like, even well, then, comedians, I don't really care. Uh, it's yeah, those yeah. people, the real people. Oh, yeah, yeah, care. I know what you're talking about. Like, <laughs> yeah, like when I bring those types of people yeah. on, I think it'll be a little bit more catered for them. Because you know? we'll see each other. We see each other every day, you know what I mean? Of course, <laughs> and I'll have you back on future episodes of Tough Times, too, as well. Yeah, you know? so it's like... Uh, we tough li- Times 2 is just like, it's going to be a great staple. No, nah, dude. And I like the name, like, Tough Times 2. T-O-O. Yeah. Because other people are having Tough Times Everyone's 2. Ha- All right, so let's talk about some tough times I'm having. Let's hear about it. <sighs> I got merch. And that'll be all, guys. Oh, no, God. <laughs> Oh, that's all the time we have. <laughs> no, I'm just going <laughs> to... No, go ahead, go ahead. What are you going to say? Let's hear it. Uh, let's hear about the t- <laughs> oh man! <laughs> oh man! Oh man! I got some merch, <laughs> and it came all jacked up, dude. Really? It all 
two thousand dollars worth of merch oh, no. I bought, and it all came, well, uh, they're gonna like honor their fucking you know be their polite of company course, course. and fix it. But I'm like, what, do, what country did you order this from? America. Oh yeah, yeah, really, yeah it makes made, sense, right? It makes, makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Uh, look, I, mean, look, I, I love America. I expect like, nothing less. Than, uh, <laughs> when it, to have well, up, dude, you know? it makes sense. Dude. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Classic America. Yeah. We, Originally, um, I got my original merch from Germany. But it took like a month and German a half. German-made stuff is pretty nice. But that German I merch, like German-made stuff, on fire. Everything was lined up. Color was hot. American merch. Oh man, it was a lot of mix and match. Oh my god, labels or like these uh these uh designs weren't consistent. Some were crooked. <laughs> oh, I was like, what? Man, what, a nightmare. what did I pay two grand two grand for here? Dude, no. that's why, like, most <laughs> if I'm buying it overseas, I tell them I'll, I'll pay cash on delivery, and then that's when most of them mm. say, we will never do that. Yeah. Actually, all of them say that, but it's just like, what do you expect? Like, I'm not going to, like, trust you. I mean, it's if like it's, like, a real like. official company, you know a what I mean? A real official company, that's... You can trust, yeah. because they'll honor, like, their, uh, you know, like, return policy. The policies, you, yeah. The only issue with them is, like, the lead time. It's so long because of... You know, just all this. Which is a nightmare, man. Yeah. Because, like, if you're renting and you move around or yeah. whatever, then you're just like, dude, that's why it's just, like, it's just chaos. But, like, check this out. Like, I started recording this podcast now in March. But, like, I had to order merch at the beginning of February. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you have to plan months ahead if you want to have these things come at the right time. But then if it comes at the right time but it's completely jacked up. What a nightmare. Now, now we're all screwed. Screwed, I tell you. <laughs> Let's see, other hard times I'm having tough times is uh, I have really bad hip flexors. Oh, yeah. My legs hurt. I can you, sh- you don't stretch? I do. I stretch a lot. Let me show the audience how Scream bad they out. are. Uh, I used to. You see this hip flexor? This one can go to here, right? Yeah. Now look at this one. Mm. You know what I mean? Like this is I'm not like and what are you? You're 28. 28, dude. Yeah. But the thing is, I did karate for the first like a lot of years. My knee is like bad shape. Knees, sciatic nerve, it all acts Real up. Real bad knees. It's uh, partially sprained MCL. Well, I know what your knees are bad from, but mine are just <laughs> bad from other things: skateboarding, Mine's snowboarding. Oh yeah, that's what that's what they call it, <laughs> car accident. <laughs> 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 Oh man! Oh man! Yeah, uh, uh, tell me more about this car accident. I, I'm actually legally not allowed to talk. God about damn it! I am so sorry resolved, to even yeah. a- approach now, it like that. I, I can say I was injured about it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Damn. Maybe in a couple of episodes yeah. we'll be able to talk about it. But who knows? Oh, okay. Okay. Could be years. What other hard times I'm having? Tough times? I'm so sorry. Twice yeah. on that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. I mean, hard times, tough times, they're all hard and tough. You know, tough is like, I haven't gone snowboarding this season yet, and no. that's really screwing me up because, like, that's. There's no way you haven't been out there. That I saw what you did there. <laughs> Why? Uh, what did I do? I, it's no way. I love that. Yeah, I love I mean, that. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. Every time I'm on the mountain, <laughs> every time I'm on the mountain, I just feel like my whole year is, like, off if I don't go once during the winter. You know what I mean? Yeah. The whole year. Well, actually, I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah. Much of a snowboard. You don't shred the gnar powder. No. I don't. I really don't. No. Mm-hmm. It's okay. Even to me, it was a little weird. Like, the first. Plus, like, I mean, like, my knee will just, like, blow out if I ever uh, hit a mountain. I mean, like, I had plans to go. I was thinking about going. You have any like, metal in there? No. Okay. No. They decided no surgery. We just mm. went the rehab route. Yeah. They said surgery, you know, might not go right. You might not be able to play professional football ever again. And I was just like, well. Is rehab different than physical therapy? Or is physical therapy rehab technically? Knee would re- be, re- I don't know. So, like, when you Good go. question. I, I guess physical therapy. Yeah, I was at physical therapy, but I guess it was like sports rehabilitation. Right. So, I, I went to physical therapy for my hip flexors, but it was by like a sports people. Oh, yeah. So, like, is just rehab just another term for like going to physical therapy? It's a genuine question. Huh. You know what I mean? Because you said rehab, but I say physical therapy, and I'm wondering if they're just the same in reality. It's, that is a good question. Like, okay, when you, all your things for rehab, was it just going to physical therapy? Or did you do other things uh, outside of it? I had to do other things. Okay, outside, then, yeah. then okay. Then it's not one-to-one. Yeah. I'm glad we came to the bottom of yeah. this. <laughs> it, it, was like, it was a long road to recovery, and I'm still not even there. All right, yeah, so that's that's rehab. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Did you get drugs? 
<laughs> nah, no. uh, Painkillers? Um, I mean, they had me on a bunch of okay. stuff, but I, I mean, I wasn't taking any of it. Oh, it was just yeah. Like, after a while, you're just like, Jesus, like, what are they giving me? Yeah, some people, for? isn't that crazy? Like, it's some. Like, nothing was like rebuilding muscle right, in right. my legs. So it was just like, just to make me more comfortable, I guess. Uh-huh. And I was just like, you know what? I'll take the pain. Isn't that crazy? Like, you get hurt. And they're more focused on just like, like, yeah, I get it. Like, yeah, numb the pain. I'm pretty sure there was like a Netflix documentary that came out just about like this uh, uh, girl in high school who was like an athlete. She got like a little injury. And then like the doctor prescribed her like all this like overdosed painkillers. And then she She like, uh, she either overdosed or like killed herself through depression because of it. But it was like it all came I used back to, be on to an acne medication back in the day. Uh, I never been on it. I was on this stuff called Accutane. Accutane, yeah, I've heard Dude, a lot about it. That stuff was brutal, man. Yeah. You taking a pill every mm-hmm. day for like six months, and it was just like you. Some, I think it was up to two pills a day. Uh huh. And it was just like at a point, I was just like, yo, I'm done with this shit. Okay, you know? so I know that sounds hard, but for the amount of girls that are going to be like, hey, Ryan. I take birth control and I've been taking it. I know. <laughs> you know? <laughs> For yeah. 14. The, but I mean, like, the birth control thing, it's just like, um, that's a little different. I mean, Accutane was like physically uh, yeah, they're, hurting your oh, body. I like, think they'll like, also argue that. Like dry lips. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm birth control. Little, but yeah, I mean, like, this thing was like dry skin, dry yeah. lips, dry everything. Uh, no, no, I know. What it, yeah, yeah. Like, I, like, I've you were seen, actually like, getting affected internally yeah, 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 from it. I no, think no, I, I think agree. it was infecting, like, the inside of my body, like, differently. Yeah, I think me. it was, yeah, no. It was I, hurting I me you. almost more yeah. than it was helping me. It was, it was changing you, for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, I get it. But, uh, dude. I think birth control, I think, is probably harder than Accutane. Overall. Birth control is harder than Accutane? Yeah, I mean, I guess I would never know. Yeah. I'll never, I, I'll never know, and it's almost, like, pretty hard to Does Accutane affect your that? mental illness? And I'm not like, talking about, like, oh, just because your skin is dry, you feel, like, self-conscious. It but affects your mental in the sense of, like, you you're like, bit? well, I'm taking pills every day, and uh, I also have to carry around a bottle of lotion, mm. uh, chapstick, and, like, I wonder if it's on the, is it on the bottle? Like, oh, you might be, like, angry or it has to. It has that on there okay. that says, like, there could, this could lead to suicidal yeah. thoughts. And you're mm. just like, oh. Because and they it, ask you that every checkup, obviously. Yeah. They're like, do you feel suicidal? And you're like, no, yeah. obviously not. Like, I feel good. I've like, felt suicidal no since the fifth so grade, dude. Like, I look good right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, because it's, like, it's like crazy. Because, you know, my girlfriend, when we met each other, she was on birth control. Maybe she just had gone on birth control. And then when she got off. I heard it messes with your body for sure. Uh, Yeah, but I, it, body, but like the mental, like when she came off birth control, it was like a mm-hmm. day and night. You know what I mean? I was like, ah, this woman. Yeah. Because the other woman was like, you know, like she's the same woman, but like birth control, like, you know, screws with your hormones and your yeah. brain. So I was like, ah. And like, if that's the risk pregnancy or you know like a calm happy woman i risk pregnancy every day Mm -hmm. because the happiness of my girl (laughs) is way more important than i can just pay for an abortion guys oh man (laughs) well (laughs) bleep that part (laughs) Uh, i'll cut it for you (laughs) no no i meant for you you know what i mean if you want nothing is actually true on yeah show. yeah yeah i'm not even brown uh, <laughs> <laughs> i'm actually ai <laughs> yeah, a hologram actually, yeah he's actually not even here uh, yeah he's i'm actually a- yeah the metaverse the graphics are just this good have you ever seen westworld a little bit ryan just Fell made me, me over there <laughs> <laughs> but um dude it was great to have you on yeah and, bro um, real pleasure I'm dog have you on again soon you know it's good to see you around One the scene the you got any shows coming up you want to plug or mm. no shows i'm just grinding working out the skill set of being a comic i'll get back to you on dates you gotta love that i got a show coming up on uh march 25th it's a friday catch me in phoenixville at the great american pub love that it's gonna be a good time uh i'm just a guest spot there so that'll be a great time yeah hey man guest spots Make you headliners. I dude, I, I enjoy a nice guest spot too. It's just like, whoa, this guy was no pressure. He's a cool guy, man. Just get in there. He is. He's a guest. Do five to seven. That's the plan. Crush it. Get in there. Get out. Get of out there, of there. You know?
Shake some hands. Take a couple pictures. Smack some butts. Babies, you know. <laughs> that's what you got to do. <laughs> that's what you got to do. Well, that's been another tough times too. Stay tuned for our next episode. Also, yeah, I sounded like Jeff Probst there, mm-hmm. closing out Survivor. You know, you're just yeah. like, all right, stay tuned. I'm scenes for our next episode. <laughs> True story. I once matched with this girl on Tinder. Let's say her name was Jen, because it fucking was Jen. <laughs> And I was shooting straight from the hip. Sup, Jen? And she responds back in all caps. Legit, all caps, because that's, that's how important this shit was. Ha ha ha, your name is Bavik, you fucking pussy. Fuck you, dude. Bye. Woo, wow. So I did what any man would do, just got rejected for his first name. I changed my preferences to interested in men. Yeah. No. It turns out that every ex-con in the 50 mile radius wanted to destroy my asshole. And it's fucking sad because they didn't even want to take me out to dinner first. Boy, you gotta work for this asshole. That's all I'm saying.